Well, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica Likewise, and after 13 years of doing ABA, I am studying for my BCBA exam, and I'm making videos so you can study along with me. Today, I'm gonna to discuss the types of stimulus receptors in the body. Well, hey guys, and welcome back. So we talked about earlier in another video about a behavior being any interaction between an organism and the environment. But how does that work on a neurological level? Well, our body has cells that interpret changes to stimulus in our environment. And there are three types of stimulus receptors in the body. Each one of them performs a very important role and a different role in determining what our behavior is. So today we're gonna to discuss the three types of stimulus receptor cells in our body. Now you can actually go more in depth into each one of these, but we're going to dis discuss these three, generally speaking, just what you need to know to pass your BCBA exam. So the first type of stimulus receptor in our body is called exteroceptors. Kind of think of exto, external, outside, right? So these are the receptors that are dealing with senses outside our environment. So our taste, our, our actual five senses of taste and smell, and touch and hearing. You know, when we hear music playing, that's using our ectoreceptors, the extraceptors. Those are the ones that are interpreting the music. You know, if someone gives us a big hug and we feel their body, right, those are extraceptors. We feel that, the touch. Those are the types of cells that are interpreting that stimulus. The other type of um, cell receptors is interoceptors. And these are the two main categories. Interoceptors deals with anything inside our body, inter in, right? So it's super easy to remember. And this is a very classic example of hunger or thirst. If something's going on inside of our body, then it's an interoceptor. So the other third one, and this is actually relatively important in the field of autism, these are proprioceptors. And I say that because oftentimes, and many of us work in the field of autism, many times children with autism have some dysregulation with their proprioception. Now proprioception has to really deal with two things. Number one, the vestibular sense, and number two, the kinesthetic sense. Now vestibular sense has to do with balance and kinesthetic sense has to do with movement. So for us involuntarily, when I raise my hand, right, that's my proprioception sense that's doing that. You know, oftentimes we see kids that are running around a lot, maybe we'll walk into things and people, you may think like, why is he doing that? Well, typically it has to do with proprioception issues where they may not necessarily know where they are in space. You'll hear occupational therapists use that term a lot, or like this child doesn't know where they are in space. That has to do with proprioception. But those are the three types of of um, sensor stimulus receptors in our body. It's important to know the terms to pass your ABA exam. Um, this is for me, I mean, honestly, knowing the differences never really come up in clinical practice, but for your exam, it is good to know what these definitions are. So if you want to have the uh, study notes that go along with this, head over to my website, hopeeducationservice.com. For every video, there's a study note and subscribe to this channel. I'm putting out multiple videos every day. I took a month off to study. And as I'm studying on every topic that I'm breaking down, I'm making a video for you. So you can study along with me, totally free. So subscribe to this channel, share with your friends that are taking the BCBA exam. And if you have a question, let me know what it is. If you have that question, we probably need to know what it is for the BCBA exam. Either I'll answer it if I can, or I'll bring on a BCBA who can answer it for you. Have an amazing day and I'll see you on the next video.